Okay, so uh, again, our topic for tonight, dear students, will be ideal teacher. So I'll ask you first the first question, okay? So what type of lessons do you like? So let's start. Let me go first. Let me go first. Go, go okay. One. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know much about types of lessons, so I think because I'm a student at a school where I self-study is of great importance. I'm rather fond of the supervised study. Do you know that? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm interested in self-study. For Huang, he prefers self-paced lessons, okay? Uh, Ina, would you like to answer? Uh, me? Yes. Ah, thank you. And I like class, uh, classes where, where we talk, talk, but I especially like classes where we work in groups. Most recently, I discussed that chicken heart with my group in biology class. And I was very excited, but it was fun to learn about the structure of, a, of the heart while sharing our opinions. That's great. That's great. That's good to hear. Okay, so, um, because some students, you know, they just like to work on their own. But it's good to hear that you want to work in a group. You want to work with your classmates, correct? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Thank you too. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Lizzie, Nicholas, would you uh, like to uh, yes. yes, Lizzie. I like... Uh... I like uh, activities lesson where it's uh, games and uh, funny. <laughs> so that's my favorite. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's wonderful because you know if there are games that are being applied, then you will be more lively. You can interact yes. more, right? Right. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Lizzie. Um, Nicholas, how about you? What's your answer for the first question? I like lessons like Lizzie said to the two lessons where you can play in the exact time, and in exact time you can uh, learn something. Okay, just like Lizzie as well, uh, incorporating games while learning new things. Great, thank you. How about my two students who would like to start? Uh, Justine or Trisha? Like I'll to... go first, sir. Okay, Trisha, go ahead. So, for me, um, as what Miss Nina said, I want to learn as a group to our face-to-face interaction because we are, we are much more open with interacting with others because as an as as an aspiring teacher, we must learn to socialize with That's great. Oh, by the way, uh, students, we have teacher Ika from Georgia. Hi, teacher. Hello again. Nice to meet you again. Today, nice to meet you. I have some problems. That's why uh, I want to be with you because uh, maybe I have only a few minutes, okay? I am very happy again to be with you. Good luck all of you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to hear and see you again, Teacher Ika. So, Teacher Ika is from Georgia and she's also joining this uh, conversation. Yes, excuse club. me. I teach history and civic education. Uh, and uh, I am very happy because you are a student of all over the world. And my students as well, yes, they love meetings and to review and discuss some problems. Good luck. 
Thank you, Teacher Ika. And uh, Lizzie and Nicholas have the same answer as well. And I love their idea. So it's really good, you know, studying while, you know, incorporating games. So it's a good type of lesson. So <laughs> it's really nice to have you and your students. So um, thank you, Trisha. Uh, you and Nina would like to work in groups. And that is really nice to hear because there is still the interaction with everyone. Okay? So, thank you. And, uh, yeah, uh, just late. how about you? What's your answer? Good evening, po. Um, for, me, for me, po, I also want to learn as a group and face-to-face -face so we can be able to express our thoughts freely and I can access more information and richer understanding through body language and voice. That's all for Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. So we have three students who like to work in a group and then two students who would enjoy incorporating activities like games. And for Wang, he preferred to a study on self-pay so that's awesome thank you let's go with the second question so the second question students your most memorable lesson okay so your most memorable lesson who would like to start can i start okay go lizzie uh well as i remember it was english lesson and uh, we had group uh, and uh, we played games like uh, uh, we had uh, three groups and uh, as i remember uh, our group win and <laughs> it was really fun wow you have a good memory actually okay and that's good because you can incorporate your first answer to the second question okay well actually that's memorable because you you said you won the game right right <laughs> that's great thank you thank you lizzie thank you i would like to go next i uh, go I, I go nina try. thank you <laughs> uh, This is the a, a local express, expression class I took in elementary school. Uh, it improved, uh, it involved a visit to a local supermarket, a backyard tour, and a half day of running about the store operations through a talk from the manager. And such. Hands-on class were late, rare back then, so it left a very strong impression on me. It's uh, an interactive class where you go to a supermarket, you talk to the manager, you experience firsthand, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, sorry. No, it's okay. We got it. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. No problem. Who would like to go next? Hello, everyone. Yes? Yes? I'd like to get my answer. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I like studying English very much, but um, I also spend time on studying math. So... Okay, okay. And last week, uh, I, I'm doing a math calculation and my teacher, my teacher is rather uh, strict. So uh, I and him, I and him, I and him had, has, uh, had a argument. So, argument. So, he said like, oh, what? You've given the wrong answer. I don't want to hear something about you. And I feel like I feel like my brain's my brain's like bursting. So um, 
when I find when I found the right answer, I feel like, oh, I think、um, teacher, teacher, is isn't always true. So that's my sharing. Okay, teachers. Okay. Are always true. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Wang.、Well. Appreciate your story as well. Nicholas from Georgia. My most memorable lesson is、uh, uh, once we we are watching some mo- some movie. Then we、uh, told、uh, each other something how the movie was, what we liked about movie and something. Interesting. Okay, interesting. It's also a、uh, group sharing. Okay, so you are really,、uh, you know, you're trying to incorporate your answer in number one to the second question. So thank you, thank you so much. And let's go with yes, just late, please. My memorable lesson for is whenever we had a. Group report or activities, we are able to express ourselves to everyone while enjoying each other's company. Socializing is sometimes hard for me because I'm not an extrovert. But with the help of group activities, I became used to socialize with everyone and enhance my interpersonal and communication skills. Great, great. That's、uh, a challenging, memorable experience because you said. You are not an extrovert, but because of these activities, you are trying. Okay, that's good. And Trisha, hi sir.、Mm. Um, for me, the most memorable lesson I've ever had is,、um, I think, learning the children's development.、Um, because, I, as I have said,、um, I am an aspiring teacher. And I must learn to interact with others,、uh, especially children, and also learning learning English and communication. So, in order to enhance my communication skills as a student and as a teacher, that's all. Thank you. Good. That's good to hear. You're practicing your future profession. Well, actually, you are now on your first level. That's what I usually tell you. So this is just your first level. Three more years, and you're gonna be a teacher. Okay? Thank you. Let's go now to our third question. So after the memorable lesson, okay? Now we will go to the worst. Okay? The worst lesson that you ever had. Okay? So who would like to start?、Uh, I will start. Okay, Lizzie, go ahead. Um. I think、uh, I did not have a worst lesson because every lesson I learn something. Maybe it's not、uh, much, but、uh, I learn something like uh, maybe uh, not about lesson, but、uh, like as a human,、uh, you will.、Uh, how can I express? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I think. I I I believe so. That was really great, and you are so positive. Okay, because despite, like you said, despite that some lessons might not be good, your day might not be good, but you consider every lesson a lesson itself. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Love that answer. Thank you, Lizzie. Who would like to go next? Um, I don't consider this as a worst lesson I've ever had, but rather I find difficult. I can say that it is algebra and other lessons in mathematics that are that are really challenging for me. Well, as an English teacher, I will say yes. Mathematics is really challenging. Okay, <laughs> so I I will accept that. Okay, I'll consider that as a worst experience. Okay. How about you? I think Nina. You would. Would you like to answer? My teachers were all, all very nice, so I couldn't think of anything in、uh, particular. But I have a bad memory of getting injured in a PE class that I was looking forward to. 
Okay, okay. So it was an injury while you were taking your PE class. What what game or what sport are you playing that time? Maybe I play hard huddle huddle run huddle Oh huddle uh running in huddles. Yes, huddle running. Okay, okay. But um did uh was it uh a worse injury or is it a minor one? Is it just minor injury? Uh um minor plus one <laughs> one Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. But again, like Liz's answer, okay, uh, we appreciate, okay, we appreciate you considering the teachers really nice that you cannot think any worse lesson. So thank you. Thank you again, Nina, for your answer. Thank you. All right. Okay, Trisha. Um, for me, sir, I think not. Because... For me, um, at the end of the lesson or lecture, um, I am pressuring myself to learn something good about it. Um, so I couldn't think any words about the lesson. Well, that's that's interesting. Okay, because you pressuring yourself that this is a lesson. I must treat this as lesson. It's. It, it should not be bad because I'm going to be learning something from you. Wow, that's a really good insight. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I love the group of students here. You're giving interesting answers. Okay. How about the two boys? Nicholas? I think I never had a worse lesson because every lesson is good. Because we always, in every lesson, we... Uh, Study something new. Mm, that's that's good perspective. Okay, new things means new learning. So how can it become worse, right? That's great as well. Thank you, Nicholas. And let's proceed with the fourth fourth question. Okay, one more and we're almost done. So for you as a student, okay, what is your requirement? so that you consider your teacher a great teacher. What are you looking for your teacher to become a great teacher? What are the qualities? Okay, let's start first with Jocelyn. Sir, a good teacher should be the one who puts her heart into teaching. This is because only by doing so will the students feel their passion and hard work. When a, te when a teacher strives hard for the students, students will put in their effort as well. If a teacher dislikes her job, goes to classes in a bad mood, her teaching would also be affected and students would not be able to enjoy lessons as well. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, who would like to go next? I think a great teacher uh, must gain a understanding a child. <laughs> understanding. Well, I, I, I've done that for so many years. So maybe I am a great teacher. <laughs> um, that's really good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lizzie. Appreciate that. Oh. And it is fun. Okay. All right. So. Um, for you, for you too, what is the requirement of a great teacher? Number uh, number four question. It's the uh, attitude. Attitude of uh, students as teachers. Attitudes, dedication, and also teaching. It's really important that a great teacher must be well educated and the attitude. Just like the first two answers really important okay thank you thank you to the two of you yes Trisha please for me um, there are characteristics or requirements of being a good teacher is being lenient um, and informative because um, also um, a teacher who shares him or her principles in life to 
motivate to motivate the children or the students. starting to become more linear nowadays <laughs> okay because of you know because of what's happening because of COVID-19 because of the situation so I'm starting to be linear compared when it's just face to face all right well I'll also look on to it <laughs> okay thank you thank you Trisha oh Nic- Nicholas I think for being a great teacher, you have always uh, you always have to listen to the uh, a student, uh, always understand him or her, and be on his or her side. That's great. Okay, that's one of the most important thing that we always try to. Do. Okay, why did I say try? Because sometimes there's this you know there's blocking wherein we're just teacher and student, okay? But then, whenever we really understand you, just like what Nicola said, we choose to be in your side. Even if sometimes it's not always the right thing to do, but because we understand you, because we, even us, we are students way back before. So that's one of the most important thing, you know? understanding and you know letting them feel that we're not just here to educate you we're here to guide you as well so thank you thank you love your answer as well Nicholas. and Nina what's your thoughts your answer for number four yes uh, I think it is important to be there for our students, our students, no, no our students, our adults, for students, are they doping? Are they? Uh, recently, machines have become more capable, such as tablets as teaching materials, teaching, teaching, and better learn, learning environments at home how do you... I don't think machines can understand the human heart and in Japan the problem of bullying is growing that is why teachers teachers need to be more uh, attentive to children's hearts in minds uh, heart and minds Thank you, thank you, Nina. Your answer is also really nice, actually. Uh, because, yeah. uh, some teachers, they just do their job. Okay, I'm here to teach. After that, I go out. That's the end of my job. So it's really important that your teachers will be with you, guide you, educate you as much as we could. Because we consider ourselves as your second parents just like your mom and dad in the school right so thank you thank you for your answer okay okay uh i think we lost the two calls from vietnam okay their connection actually okay and we're now down to the last question okay so i know this might sound funny Okay, but I'm still gonna ask you. Do we need a teacher? Do we still need teachers? Do you still need us? <laughs> Who would like to start? Trisha? Of course, we do need teachers. So, um, human beings do not have innate knowledge. Um, we learn um, we learn through our parents and to our teachers, so we need them. We we need that we need teachers to pour their pour their heart out to guide us and teach us. For example, um, um, our first teacher is our parents, right? Um, they guide us as we gain knowledge to become a better person. That's all. Thank you. Okay, um, it's, it's 
like it, like I've said, okay? We are your parents here in the school. So like you mentioned, you need teachers because even us in our level, okay, we are still lacking of some information. So how can we become a better person if the teachers are not here? So wonderful. Thank you. And just live. Yes, po, sir. Having a teacher is a must go talaga. Teachers truly are the backbone of society. They are the role models to children, offer guidance and dedication, and give young people the power of education. Because of teachers, countries are able to further develop socially and economically. Teaching, teaching is the profession on which other professions depend. We can't get the profession that we want if teachers do not exist. Ilang po, thank you. Wow. Okay, as if you are in a competition with that answer. <laughs> but it's really meaningful, actually. Alright? Um, they said that without teachers, how we will produce the doctor? How we can produce the next president? The businessman you know every they said that every profession starts with a teacher who died there. fantastic so who would like to go next i think lizzie would like to answer yes. okay <laughs> there you go well i think we need teacher but it's about how kind of teacher is he or she uh, well um, some teacher um, well, uh, teacher, we, uh, wait, wait, <laughs> um, teacher learns, uh, that, uh, some lesson or, like, math or, uh, English like this, but we need uh, to learn how, to uh, live more, uh, easier on, like, uh, this, how to be a brave or, uh, how make life more easier and uh, I think teacher must help uh, a child about this Perfect, okay This is not just a job, but it needs you know your heart Your willingness You cannot just become a teacher because you need a job You need to become a teacher because you want to inspire Okay, so we just have a few seconds. I'll just say thank you so much, and I'll see you in the main room. Breakout room 10. Carrie. Am I 10? Carrie. Yeah, and yeah, I'd like to have, uh, I forgot her name. Uh, her name is Ch uh, name Chess. Is Winnie, Bea, I'm just kidding. Chess. Hello, teacher. Hello teachers. Hi. Hello, right. You're yeah, gonna, she loves, you're she gonna loves be math. a uh, speaker. Here we go. Yeah. Have you met ideal teacher in your life? Or who is your ideal teacher? Let's go. Yes, I have met my ideal teacher in my senior high mm. senior high school and I admire her admire her and I have and I want to become her. What what, what 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 is a hard subject? Math teacher. Math. Math teacher. Really. Nice. <laughs> okay. She's the only one love uh, love math in our breakout room. How how like does he teach and like mathematic and with like you know the, not like hilarious I mean, like you know interesting and funny like. You know, Give us a challenging to give us, uh, give us 
a challenge to solve that problem and it's very it's very intense but it's helpful to us that's why i love i love him i love her so that so you admire her and you gonna be your educator or you gonna yes be... i want to become a teacher welcome <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome to the educational field thank you